head over to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal and it helps support the show. What's up, Planeswalkers 306? Back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Today, I'm going to play the LVD inspired. I, I'm pretty sure I still have changes to this. Regardless, LVD uh, is a Flipside Gaming bro. Um, definitely going to put links to his uh, stuff in the description. If you like um, very uh, in-depth explanations for things, um, if you, especially like if you really like when I'm playing my Bolus Control uh, best of three videos and I go into depth about like every single decision. If you like that style of content, definitely check out LVD. But we're going to play the combo that I said I was going to play yesterday because Arena seems to be in a little bit better of a mood, frankly. Um, I played a couple of games with this. One was against, um, is it draw two? Obviously we crushed them because this deck punishes our opponent's drawing. And then we played against Esper Enchantments, um, used things like Athema, um, Oath of Kaya, uh, Doom, Doom Foretold, things like that, um, to leverage value and whatnot. Uh, and we did just fine against them because, very similarly, uh, they're over here trying to do a bunch of cool, cheeky things with enchantments and caring about, like, me having creatures on board. Nah, you're too slow, fam. Uh, I played a, a couple of good old-fashioned Smothering Tides, and they didn't answer them, and they lost. <laughs> so what is this deck? The deck essentially is a combination between these three cards, essentially. And I'm going to talk about these two cards first because they're the card that they're the cards that are most important. So we have Emergency Powers. This is a seven cost card where each player shuffles up their hand and graveyard into the library, then draws seven. If you play it, if you cast it during your main phase, you can put a permanent card with converted mana cost seven or less from your hand on the battlefield. Cool. We're almost always going to be playing this main phase because we really want that uh, special bonus. But if for some reason uh, we we don't think we can do it, or you know our opponent's about to kill our Smothering Tithe and we really need the mana or something. Um, then we can go ahead and use it at end speed, whatever. But what the reason this works really nicely is because with Smothering Tide out, our opponent is going to be drawing seven cards. They're almost certainly not going to be able to pay for any of those draws. Realistically, they might be able to pay for one or two. Um, but if your opponent is, you know, playing mana efficiently, uh, they're likely not going to be able to pay for any of that. And you're going to get seven treasure tokens. And these treasure tokens are going to be just enough for you to cast another Merchant Powers if you draw one. We'll get to some intricacies in a moment, but that essentially is the gist. What's also nice is that if you have a turn 4 Smothering Tithe, it means that you can play your Emergency Powers faster than you otherwise would be able to. If you play a Smothering Tithe on turn 4, you only need to wait 3 more turns. Which I'm not really... Uh, no, 2 more turns. 1 land. Yeah, you only need to wait 2 more turns, as opposed to an entire 3, uh, to make sure you have that additional one. That, of course, is 2 treasures plus the single land from your following turn. Underworld Dreams is the way we kill in this deck now. Um, previously, I have a, an older video up with Emergency Powers Smothering Tithe. And I want to say the way I won was by maximize acquisitioning for something in a sideboard that would essentially like bane fire my opponent to death. Something like that. That is the old way to win. Who needs that when one, we don't have Aki anymore? And two, we have Underworld Dreams. Now, Underworld Dreams is prohibitively black centered. Which is a little unfortunate, I'm not going to lie. It does make our mana a little bit wonky at times. Have a lot more tap mana than, than I would prefer. But kind of is a necessity based on the fact that we need triple black pips. That said, whenever an opponent draws a card, Underworld Dreams deals one damage to that player. I think you're seeing where I'm going with this. Uh, Emergency Powers plus Underworld Dreams is your opponent taking seven. If you are able somehow magically to play Underworld Dreams on curve... Your opponent's going to be real close to death after a single emergency powers. They're going to be dead after a second emergency powers. Um, if, of course, you play this early. If not, that's fine. They'll be dead after, like, the third or fourth. But these three, these three all combine very nicely to make a nice little annoying combo for your opponent. Especially for an opponent who wants to use their graveyard because we shuffle that shit back in. And that's always nice. Um, important to note, emergency powers can drop many of our important cards. Um, Teferi, Folio, Omen... Um, but most importantly, these two. Uh, Emergency Powers can drop both of these into play after you resolve it, which is just fantastic for hopefully the next one that you've uh, drawn. We're also rocking a decent number of board wipes. And the reason for this is we need to live up to seven mana or or we probably are going to die. Now, LVD, his version um, only ran, I think, three Shatters and three Kayas. I have been going up against, as I said, a lot of red decks that burst out pretty fast. Uh, so I decided to add in some Cry the Canariums, 
This doesn't really affect the mana base because of the fact that we have Underworld Dreams anyway, but we're rocking two Cries, two Shatters, and three Kai's Wrath. Now you might be saying, why is it that we cut specifically the uh, one Shatter as opposed to the Kai's Wrath? For one, since we have to have this much black anyway, the Kai's Wrath mana is, it is still technically harder to cast than Shadow of the Sky, the Shadow of the Sky, but it's slightly, it, the cost to it is not prohibitive enough that it wouldn't make up for the fact that Shadow of the Sky can sometimes draw your opponent a card. And yes, a lot of the time, we're okay with our opponent drawing cards, but if we're in a situation where we're we're not at a point where we want them to draw a card, uh, I just found that too often there was a bit of a liability, so that's why I went with that. Card the Canarium, obviously perfect for dealing with early aggressive strategies. We are running a decent amount of card draw slash selection. I guess Teferi could kind of go in there as well. But four Thirst for Meanings are just what give this deck a nice nice creamy uh consistency here and that's because we're drawing three and then either we're discarding two to you know put stuff in our yard if we have to for whatever reason or we're just getting rid of you know an excess omen of the sea an excess underworld dreams you know if we already have one underworld dreams out if we're looking for other gas like another emergency powers we don't need the other underworld dreams but you know if if you don't have those you can keep them and just discard you know, two lands D-Spark in the early game, something like that, and it's very helpful. For Omen of the Sea, also quite helpful. One, because this is something that you can discard to Thirst and not really care about it at all. Additionally, this is an enchantment that we get to scry to and draw a card. And if we happen to have some extra man, uh, mana lying around, let's say we have two Smothering Ties, but we really haven't hit those emergency powers just yet, we can go ahead and sacrifice this for three and scry an additional two. Absolutely fantastic. One interesting thing that you can do with this is that when the triggers on the stack, you know, you, you play uh, Omen of the Sea, when the, the Scry 2 draw triggers on the stack, pay an additional 3, sacrifice it, Scry an additional 2 before the ability resolves. That way you can Scry 2 twice before you draw. You might be able to, you know, get the single card that you need. One fully of a fancy use. This card essentially is an, a, it's an emergency emergency powers. Uh, this card allows us to have us draw a bunch of cards very similar to emergency powers except it is a little bit more expensive that said if you have a smothering tithe out you're getting a rebate of seven mana let's say you know you, you tap this for 14 total uh, you put 14 x into this um you're, you're getting like a rebate you're getting cash back on seven of that mana you're not always gonna have 14 mana though but if you have smothering tithe once again if you put 14 mana in there you get 14 minute back, and that's, that's not bad. 2D Sparks, um, there are a number of big things that we just want to not deal with, frankly. T-Spark helps. I, I tried with uh, Tyrant Scorn. I tried two Tyrant Scorn, no D-Spark. I tried one and one, and at the end, I went back to the D-Spark. Um, this is what LVD was running, and sometimes you just you just need to D-Spark some shit. <laughs> Four Teferis. Um, this means that if we are playing up against a red deck, um, and they have mana up and we have merchant's powers, we're not going to necessarily die immediately because they can't burn us with their newfound cards. That is a thing that could and did happen in the past. Um, what's also nice is you can just uh, annoy your opponent, bounce some shit, cast your your kills, your kills board wipes at instant speed, those things. This is our mana base. It is very black heavy. We need it to be that black heavy for our black cards. Um, we have four Scarab Barons. We are running a large number of tap lands. We're running a large number of Shocklands. Our mana base is going to hurt us. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. I'm playing in play mode today. Why am I playing in play mode? Well, I tried ranked the other day. And that didn't work out for me. I wasn't having a good time. So I'm playing in play mode today. It should be better. I am hoping I get to show off the combo. Unfortunately, once you get a Smothering Tithe... If you cast um, Emergency Powers twice, your opponent usually is going to concede at that point. But I'm hoping I get to show you all the ac the deck like actually in motion. But we'll see. Uh, this is an okay hand. Um, we're going to have to take two regardless. Um, so we, we're fine here. We can lead off Temple into Water Grave, Omen of Sea. If our, if our opponent's on control, it's not the best. Um, but if they're on aggro, we, we've got a, a decent uh, hand against them, so this is an okay keep. We really want to see a Smothering Tithe or Underworld Connections, at, or Underworld Dreams, as soon as possible. 
All right, blue green. That's an underworld dreams. That's pretty nice. Um, and I'm just gonna pretend right now that I have a Dovin's veto up. Um, this might be Teamer. It's Bant's Bant enchantments. Okay. Um, Bant enchantments with Shadow of the Sky. We should be relatively okay. Um, the underworld dreams coming down early here is also quite nice because it's gonna make their go off turns painful. Um, Teffers? Teffers is also pretty nice. Um, do I want... I don't know if I want the land. I have five. I don't think I need the, this land. We're running 25 or 26, I don't recall. I definitely like Teffers. The question is... Well, okay, I didn't need a second. The question, though, is do we Teffers bounce this... I mean, that, that slows them down. It also digs deeper. Yeah, I'll do that. As you can see, taking a decent amount of damage from my lands. My just, just go away, season of growth. Got another land, cool, cool. Maybe, I, honestly, I maybe should have kept this land just because it's an untapped land that doesn't deal damage to me. Oh, you're interesting. You're you're going to be murdered. I'm I'm sorry to say. All that glitters. So okay, so I'm playing some tapped. Do a little plus here. I'm gonna play this water grave tapped. Okay. Now I can wait. So my hope is that my opponent plays season of growth into all that glitters but they might not they might all that glitters onto this and and then hold up the the one mana like instant speed spell that gives plus two plus two but i think if they're using it for that i'm fine because i do still have access to shadow sky yeah i think i'm okay with that essentially what i'm trying to do is get them I'm trying to wait until this is targeting that. They're going to draw from this, which is fine. Ah, okay. Well, they smartly cast that aura first. So now they can just play uh, Season of Growth. That's fine. Whatever. Sure. Temple, you're going to scry to the top or bottom? Top. That is fine with me. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we've very, very nicely kind of slowed them down enough that we we should be okay and we're gonna start you know nugging them um they can play all right that does not help against my shadow this guy so all right they kept that on top and i can i mean i can use up this teferi and bounce it or something um do i need to use my oven i don't um if i top deck a smothering tide i'd like to cast that and i would not be able to if i used omen so Looks like they're going to cast an enchantment on that Alseed, which is very interesting because I have an active Teferi now. They do get to draw cards, but... Oh, they're drawing even more cards. All right. Lose your life, fam. So they might have that protection card here. I'm sure. Temple of Scrylance, not bad. Yeah, let's Scrylance, see what we can get. No. At this point, I need Emergency Powers or Smothering Tithe. Don't want to bounce that now. I mean... This deck's not running the uh, Unbreakable Formation, right? I don't think so. And at present, they can't kill Teffers, so I think I'm fine just like... Plusing, yeah, plusing, forcing them to to go in a little bit more. Oh, I've done the hero. Um, if they don't, that's fine. Then I can just thirst for meaning. If they do, then I can shadow the sky into speed. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it. All right, that's I'm fine with that because that doesn't put it to four. Oh, wait, my opponent can't cast things into speed. I'm. Very, very dumb. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot that they can't cast things at instant speed. Cast another season of growth? That's totally fine. 
Like, as I said, like, this is just going to hurt them. Now they're going to cast all the glitters, and I'll respond with a shatter. Yep. They do get to draw two, but that's two more damage out of their face. And I still have a... I'm still in an okay position, frankly. Do you want a Smothering Tide, though? That is not a Smothering Tide. Um, I'm going to main deck Thirst for Meeting. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to get rid of one of the Underworld Dreams. Cast this Underworld Dreams. <laughs> Temple. Nope. But, I mean, at this point, I think my opponent just died to Underworld Dreams. Um... Yeah, I'll put this back in her hand. It just ties up their mana a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure this deck doesn't run any um, haste, haste giving cards. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't think it does. Yeah, they cast season of growth again. Don't care. Do it. Cast a test and champion. They did nothing. Wow, fantastic. Um, at this turn, I should have used Omen of the Sea for what it's worth, but I don't think it actually matters. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. They can't cast this at instant speed, so... They're on a... Four turn clock? To use the Omen. Don't need either of those, thanks. To use the Thirst. Come on, I want emergency powers! This is horseshit. Uh, that's fine, though. I have this. And... Two, four... Alright, so I can play this tapped. Let's try this. I'm pretty sure they're just dead, right? One, two, three. Yeah, I can just get them to draw three cards here. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> and that's how you just win because everyone's drawn cards in this metagame. You you just play Underworld Dreams, and they die. <laughs> I did not combo at all. I just they I just killed them. Not just the men, but the women and children. I slaughtered them like animals. I hate them. I'm, I'm looking up terrible Star Wars quotes. Oh my god, there's actually... Oh, Buckwild. I love my, my opponent's name. Uh, we got Emergency Powers, we got Omen, we got Teffers. Um, yeah, I think we'll keep this... And I think I start with... I'm going first, so I am going to start with Scoured Barons. And the reason for that is I don't know what my, my opponent's playing, so I don't know how I would scry on the first turn. So... Well, that's interesting. I assume they're holding up Opt. I think I want to have the ability to play Teferi on three, so I'm going to go ahead and Temple of Skrylance right now. Um, yeah, go away. Like, I technically need that for emergency powers, but I'm, I'm looking for... Nope, it's it's Simic Flash. Fuck. Um, everything's bad. Oh, oh, it's ba oh, it's the Bant Flash deck. Cool. I mean, no matter what, I cast. Something's getting countered. Um, but Teferi is more valuable to me, so I'm actually going to bait out a counter spell. Hopefully, by casting Underworld Dreams. We'll see a counter spell here. A gate, yep. Oh, I hate this deck so much. I think it's my least favorite. Alright, where's, where's my sweet cringe? Don't try it, Anakin. I had the high ground. Uh, Teferi's getting countered. Let's, let's just be real. 
It's gonna be a sinister sabotage. No, mystical dispute. Wow. And now they can flash in the. Oh wait, they don't have that anymore? Do they? I don't think so. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. It gets everywhere. Cast this, hope they counter it like a dumbass, but I shouldn't have showed them that I had more mana. Kai's Wrath, I don't hate. Teffers, I also don't hate. So I'm gonna cast Cry here. Cry, they. I'm hoping that they're dumb and they decide to flash in their uh, mystic person. Alright, they didn't. Um, so do you have the dog? Okay, they do have the dog. The issue is if they have if they have Mystic Snake, I'm I'm still fucked here. Um, like even with the Kai's Wrath, because they do nothing. That's six. Um, I guess it only I guess it would technically only be ten. I have to hope that they've only they've only drawn eleven cards. I have to hope that in the remaining three of the eleven cards, they don't have another counter spell. I hate this deck so much. I hate this deck so much. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I need to draw exactly another board wipe, preferably a Kai's Wrath. Nope. No, there's nothing I can draw. Yeah, because even if I uh, Thresher Meaning and it resolves and I get D-Spark, uh, D-Spark would kill the Night Pack, but I still have uh, Lethal on the, the three threes, which would be two twos, but I'm at four. I hate Snake Flash. Or excuse me, it's Band Flash now. <laughs> I went first that game too, yeah. And I tried to play Tappers on Curve, but they had a counter spell for it. Well, no, I guess no, I guess not. Technically, I played Underworld uh, Dreams, but it didn't matter. They had the negate for it. Gotta hate that deck. <laughs> um, this hand is bad. I feel like even if my point. Even if my opponent's playing aggro this hand, I feel is very bad. We don't have triple black, so if we get an early um, dreams that we can't cast it, um, we don't we don't have the black all to cast Kai's Wrath. We can cast Shadow of the Sky, but still, that's coming down in turn four, and if this is a red aggro deck, I'm going to die. I think I have to mulligan here, which just seems... Like, it seems so strange. You know, I have... I got three lands, four spells, and that seems like a terrible mulligan decision, but I, I'm... I'm almost certain that this is a bad hand. Especially if my opponent is on uh, control, then this hand does nothing. This hand is significantly better. Uh, we're going to keep this one. We're going to dump one of the cries. This hand is immediately better. Um, we're going to play Skyward Barons because Skyward Barons has to come and tapped. The others do not. Dexos. Okay. Potentially, we can still deal with Dexos from a, um, from a Cry, but we can definitely kill it with guys, but pretend I have something. So this is going to be Mono White, Life Gain, yeah. So we're going to, we're going to need this Kaya's Wrath. I'm hoping that they don't have, like, I need them to not have, um... Uh, what's it? Heliod. I need them to not have that. And I need... Um, I don't know what I need, frankly. Undead, Underworld Dreams is nice. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Underworld Dreams here. And the temple. 
Oh, right, I'm dumb, because I wanted to play the Underworld Dreams now, but also Temple. I'm, not, I'm just going to get this down now. Um, it, it's not going to matter all that much, but any any help that I can get dealing with my opponent's board is is going to be beneficial. I'm hoping they don't cast a Heliod here. I'm hoping, honestly, cast a bunch of dorks. Or cast one big thing. I don't care. Um, Heliod is just what I want to not see. That also something I didn't want to see. We can exact justice. It's fine-ish. It, it's fine-ish because Cry can pick them up. But I'm already at 10. But yeah, next turn I can Temple and Cry. Yeah, yeah, gain your life, shut up. They're at 4. At some point they're going to Arden Veil. They can now Arden Veil. Five mana. Don't play any, like, one big thing now. Play something I can kill with Cry. Or play nothing at all. Going to fight. Fight beside me. All right, I kill that with Cry. Come on, more, more, play more. Come on. Come on, play a little bit more. Uh, not what I wanted to see. I can still kill most of them with Cry. But now I want to Cry, so... Yeah, Underworld Dreams, you don't do much for me, thanks. Um, I think I just need another board wipe. That's not... Oh, man. Um, that's not a board wipe. Two, three, four... I'm, I'm dead in two turns. Um, Elspeth puts dude up to six, right? Yeah, Elspeth puts dude up to six, then I die. I, I cannot survive with a thirst... For what it's worth, even with these last two games, way better than yesterday. That's not a... Yeah, it's just... It's end of turn. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. Believe in yourself as I believe. Man, D Spark would be a great draw. D Spark no longer. Well, no, it's still fine, I guess. Ooh. Yeah, I need. I I need something, man. <laughs> Neither of those are something. Got pretty heavy land draw. Damn. Yeah, unfortunately, pretty heavy lane draw there at the end. Um, yeah, I had I had a decent number of draws. Wouldn't have gotten me out of the out of the sticky situation, but it would have meant I was still in the game. But you know, shit happens. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. It's so bad. Uh, this is a good hand. It, it is It is a good hand. I have double black for Cry. Got Teferi on curve. Got Omen of C. Yeah, this is okay. Going second, not the best. But we at least get some insight into what our opponent is playing. It's another Mono White left game deck. All right. Um, this, this Cry of the Canarium is going to be helpful. Temple of Deceit, now go fuck yourself. It's Azoria Skies. I think this might be worse. Um, I'll flash something in? I don't know. Um, I would... Instead of playing Omen, I think I would rather play... I'm keeping the D-Spark around. Just in case. Um, I'm almost certain this is uh, Blue White Skies. I assume they're gonna flash in a sailor. Oh no, they're gonna flash in this guy. That makes that makes my Cry the Carrion worse if they draw two cards here. Please don't play the Words of Wind or whatever the fuck it's called. Okay. 
I don't like that they did kind of nothing, but... Cry? Does cry work? Go fuck yourself, essentially. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I'm over here trying to play wholesome memes. Uh, I could I could use a board wipe. That is not a board wipe. Um, I can play Teferi and bounce this. Yeah, it forces some damage at me. And I'm going to scry first. Go fuck yourself. Um, play Teffers. Bounce the eagle. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Force them to recast the eagle. Mercy powers is not what I'm looking for right now. Not, um... Not really what I'm going for. They kill Teffers. They deal two to me. Uh, come on, board wipe. I have so many. Fuck. Um... I don't want to go down to seven to play Omen of the Sea as well. I'm gonna Teferi first, because I know I'm bouncing this. This isn't a fight you can win. Please go away. Might be a bad idea. Okay, well. I'm just gonna pretend I have a counter spell up, I think. Might force them to play a little differently. They they didn't, that's that's fine. Once again, Teferi's gonna die. I'm gonna go down to two. Or, I'm gonna go down by two. I'm gonna go down to five. Uh, I need a board wipe, like now. It, if it's not a board wipe, it's going away. Nah. Fuck you, game. Neither of those are board wipes. I, I need a board wipe, or I am dead. That is not a board wipe. That is not a board wipe. Thirst from eating does not even do anything. This is what happens sometimes when you play combo decks. Um, you just die to aggro. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We just, we just need to find the right matchup. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Yes, we're at the 32-minute mark. Uh, yes, I'm still going to be playing another another game. Because gosh damn it, I want to show you all how cool this deck could be. Why can't I... Why, play, hit me up with Is It Draw 2 again, man. Or some other slow deck. Over here getting I mean, aggroed out. Yeah, that's a name. Sure. This hand is good. Especially since our opponent Mulligan. We're going second, which is fine. I realize I have a question from the Discord that I haven't gotten to like at all. Aragon asked, favorite Theros god, unless I feel there's a god lacking, then tell which. Um, I don't think I answered this for a while. No, stop! Stop. Fuck you! No, I don't need Underworld Dreams. I need to survive until I can cast this Kai's Wrath. It's Azorius Skies again! Um... I mean, I like... In terms of the cards, I think I like essentially all of them. We're gonna temple again here. I'm not gonna fuck yourself. Yeah, so we should we should have this. As long as our opponent doesn't hold up a counter spell. We should be okay. Another loyal pack is just absolutely fine. Winged words, not... The best, but still totally reasonable. Um, Cry the Canary is just going to happen right now. Um, that means that we can play Smothering Tide next turn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we might uh, we might have it. Uh, I will say uh, Heliod as a character is awful, which... That is a hollow victory. Uh, Heliod as a character is a good... He's a well-written character. You know, very, very, very Greek... 
some god. Uh, fu yeah, fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna play a little. I'm gonna play more. Th this deck is fun. Combo decks are fun. You just have to accept that a lot of the time, you're not gonna be able to do exactly what you want. <laughs> but the, for the times that you can, that's that's what you're that's what you're in it for. Um, but you know, the character is a character you love to hate. Um, Erebos I love. Atheros I love. I I don't know if you can see a pattern forming. Uh, this is a good hand. And we get to go first? Fucking hell yeah, dude. Turn two, turn three, hopefully turn four. Do not mind if I do. I really don't care if my opponent mulligan or not. If they are red, it probably means I'm not going to Omen of the Sea. Just because I want to do, I want to do as much, or as little damage to myself as possible. Um, if there's any gods... If there's any gods that are lacking. Um, for... I mean, for in terms of cards, like, not all the gods are playable. Um, although, are they all playable in EDH? I haven't, obviously, played um, all the gods in EDH, but I'm wondering. Type god. Temple of Deceit. Um, I'm fine with that. Because t getting Temple of Deceit down on turn two, like another one, is totally fine with me. Um, I'm just now realizing, though, that I don't have double white for Kai's Wrath, but if I get Smothering Tithe on turn four, then I can Kai's Wrath the following turn. Hey, everybody, it's, um, it's Azoria Skies again. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Are they are they out of the the blue? Um, far is cool. Both Heliods are cool. Iros is cool. Karametra is cool. Karenos is cool. Kurufix is cool. No, honestly, I feel like all of the gods are. I guess Farika. Farika is probably one of the weaker ones. Um, so here. I'm a little worried about a Unbreakable Formation, but here I think I'm honestly just going to Skrylance down. Uh, I don't think I need that. I'll have double white from that now. Um, yeah, I can Omen of the Sea at instant speed. Um, I assume they're going to have blue now? Nope, just white. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we might get Unbreakable Formations for our Kai's Wrath, which would suck. But I guess that's fine. I'm not taking too much damage here, which is very helpful. Cast something. Even just a one drop would make me feel great. Damn. Um, I do want an Underworld Dreams. Does that mean I also want this temple? Uh, turn four, I'll be playing Kai's... This coming up turn, I'll be playing... Kai's Wrath the following turn, I think I can Temple Smothering Tithe, so yeah, I think this is fine. But yeah, I need to play the Godless Shrine. Alright, let's see if they have a formation. They do not. Fantastic. So as long as my opponent doesn't concede, uh, I might be able to actually show what the deck is. Uh, the issue is I assume my opponent might be conceding. Not right now, but soonish. But yeah, I think Farika is the weakest of the gods in terms of cards, just because the owner of the card that you exile is the one who gets the snake, and obviously that is not ideal. Um, she would be so much cooler, and she wouldn't be broken either, like, if it was just you get the card. Um, is OG that I mean, OG Thass is not the best, but she's still fine. Yeah, honestly, I think it's, I think it's just Farika. Damn, that's unfortunate, yeah. Now I'm looking at all of, like, the, the rest of the gods. Uh, part of me wants to make God Tribal. There, there are 36 gods. Like, you can easily make God Tribal. It's the question of, like, why and stop. <laughs> Tomic, sure. Flutterfa, okay. That's kind of strange. Um, This is only 4 damage. Yeah, I'm going to go and just cast Flooding Tithe and Temple. I only need one uh, tithe, so I think I'm just going to bottom that for now. Um, if I top deck a emergency powers, I can cast it. Um, would I? Yes. Yes, I would. 
yeah, I would cast it. I would lose the Underworld Dreams, but I already bottomed one. Oh, I bottomed Smothering Tide. I thought I bottomed... Whatever, it's fine. But yeah, I'm not too afraid of my opponent's board right now. They put me to 9. If nothing else, I can just play Underworld Dreams and Teferi and bounce like the Tomic or something. Teferi would die, but I do not care about Teferi. Teferi essentially is like fog 2 damage. Fog 4 damage, essentially. But we'll see what my opponent ends up doing. Um, let's see. OG Bantu. Uh, OG Bantu is not great. <laughs> New Bonsu is fantastic, new Kepna is fantastic, new Oketra is fantastic, new Ronus is fantastic. Hazard was... Oh, Hazard was a thing. Ilharg's cool. Kepna the Mindful... Um, Kepna the Mindful, I think, did its job. I, I never played with it, but from what I recall, Kepna the Mindful did, did its job. Uh, let's see, OG Oketra. Can't attack block unless you control at least three other creatures. She had double strike. Oh, wait, they both had double strike, don't they? Am I stupid? Am I just not? Yeah, I'm just not realizing. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Um, but she can make dudes. Guys who make dudes are pretty good, so I'll catch her's pretty good by that examination. OG Ronis, fantastic. Locust God, fantastic. My opponent did nothing for some reason. They didn't even... Okay, well, always, always great to just, you know, uh, have an opponent DC. I, I wanted to win this game normally. Wow, she out of the sky, I don't care. And then we pass. I know I didn't have to take the two damage, but I'm not worried about it at all. Because it looks my, like my opponent has disconnected. Woo. Scarab God's great. Scorpion God's great. The gods are great. Yeah, no. I, I'm i looking at all the gods. There are a couple of them that, you know, underperformed uh, compared to their uh, brethren, you know, Bantu and uh, Farika, namely. But the rest of that, I, I really like the gods. You yeah, know, these things are all awesome. Yeah. yeah that's, that's pretty much it. I, I really want to make God Tribal now. <laughs> uh. Well, okay. So we have... You have the Therosian Gods. Uh, and you have the Amonkhet Gods. Right? Those were those were the only Gods. Yeah, because there, there weren't... Yeah, you have, you have the Omni Kick Gods and the Thorazine Gods. Um, there's 15 total Omni Kick Gods. There are, like, like, different. No, I am not making this up as I go. I'm just going through their motions now. I can't even cast it just yet. But this turn, my opponent is going to be forced to concede. An empty victory again. Um, and there are technically eight uh, Amaket gods that we know of. Um, I really like Ishtin's uh, fan fan walker god. Is she a walker? I know she's a god. I don't remember if she was a uh, planeswalker as well. Um, but she's cool. So maybe you could do like just one of each. Because that'll, I mean, that'll only put you to 23. And then you still have room for other things. Hmm. Essentially, you just have a bunch of creatures that refuse to fucking die. <laughs> like, for Athreos, I think I'd pick Shroud Veiled. For Bantu, I'd pick New Bantu. Erebos, I'd pick Old Erebos. My opponent conceded. I'd pick Old Ronus. Um, with God of Final Ketra, I think I'd pick New Oketra. Hazard, Hazard. Oh, right, I did forget Ilharg. Ilharg technically is its own thing. So Ilharg would just be by itself. And, like, obviously you play Ilharg as well. How does Il... How does Ilharg work? If the god you put in is no longer a creature. I'm very interested in that.
That's not... I'm not getting any information out of this damn thing. Really? It leaves the... Whatever. I have a, a vault. Ooh, vault progress. <sighs> well, that was that was the deck. Um, I didn't get to show you off any of the the combos, but we did win with Underworld Dreams, so I'll take it. I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Zen, for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support in the show, you'll find links to that down in the description below. I do, of course, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, go ahead and tap that likey button. Oh god, I'm sorry, I'm stretching. Ah. <laughs> Add a subscription to your pool, cast a comment in the comment section down below, pass the turn of the vid to some of your friends, and of course, until next time, I'll be one.